Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about least mean square algorithm in adaptive equalization technique. Least mean square algorithm. Least mean square algorithm is used to minimize the mean square error between the desired equalizer output and the actual equalizer output. Here is a representation for the least mean square algorithm. E suffix k is equal to D suffix k minus D cap k. LMS algorithm is also known as the stochastic gradient method and consists of the following steps. Step 1. Initialize the weights with the values E0. Step 2. With this value, Compute an approximation for the gradient of the MSE. R cap N is equal to small u conjugate N capital U transpose N. P cap N is equal to capital U conjugate N C suffix N. Where R is the correlation matrix of the received signal. P is the cross correlation between the received signal and the transmitted signal where subscript N indexes the iterations. The gradient is estimated as do by do WN of J capital WN is equal to capital V cap N that is equal to minus 2 P cap N plus 2 R cap N E suffix N. Step 3. We next compute an updated estimate of the weight vector E by adjusting weights in the direction of the negative gradient. E suffix N plus 1 is equal to E suffix N minus mu capital V cap N where mu is a user defined parameter that determines the convergence and the residual error. If the stop criterion is fulfilled, the algorithm is converged. 0 less than mu less than 2 divided by lambda suffix max. Where lambda max is the largest eigenvalue of the correlation matrix R. We have no idea about mu value. It is computed by taking large computational effort. So we have no guess values for mu. If mu is too large, faster convergence is obtained. But algorithm might sometimes diverge. If mu is too small, slow convergence is obtained. Generally, Convergence speed depends on the condition number of the correlation matrix. Larger the number, the slower the convergence of the LMS algorithm. 2n plus 1 multiply operations per iteration is computed. Advantages of LMS algorithm. The LMS equalizer maximizes the signal to distortion at its output within the constraints of the equalizer filter length. Low computational complexity. Simple program. Disadvantages of LMS algorithm. Slow convergence and poor tracking. It converges after 300 bits. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further dates kindly subscribe this channel if you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends thank you